We've seen protests in Georgia, mass protests. Of course, there's still a full-scale war in Ukraine. Uh, a, a, a mass migration crisis with crossings up 40% of the English Channel. But also in France, a, a dangerous prison break. Yes, a red notice search warrant for this escaped French prisoner has now been issued by Interpol. Two prison officers were shot dead in an ambush by gunmen, which freed this fugitive gangster known as the fly yesterday. He is still very much on the run. There is this now this international arrest warrant. Yes, prison officers across France are now protesting following the incident. A minute's silence was held at 11am in memory of the killed officers. Well, at one prison near Marseille, more than 100 prison officers gathered beneath a banner saying, we are not paid to die. Yes, uh, this is turning into a national uh, crisis in France. But joining us live from Paris is Guillaume Bigot, political editor of C News. Uh, Guillaume, thank you very much indeed. Just hearing this update that an international arrest warrant has now been issued to find this man. What's the latest? Hello. Um, to first of all, uh, what is, is striking in this story is an incredible and, and tragic story. Is that the so-called fly is not a big man in the in the drug trafficking uh, business in France. He's maybe a second-hand, third-hand person. So to recruit people capable not only to give deaths that easily, but also to um, put themselves at risk to be in in jail for life. Uh, it's 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 incredible the the level of violence and the 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 the, the, the easy easiness uh, to to recruit uh, what we should call soldiers of drug is amazing. Uh, these people are younger and younger, and um, they can they can kill you for less than one thousand uh, euros. It's it's it's, it's extremely frightening. It is extremely frightening. And uh, I'm reading here that the French justice minister, Eric dupont moretti uh, said yes. the two prison officers were slaughtered like dogs by men for whom life means nothing. You say a thousand euros. Yes. Um, everything is, is, is uh, pretty worrying. The, uh, it's rather easy to find uh, a AK-47, um, AK-72, um, 47, sorry, uh, around Paris, for instance, it will cost you less than 500 euros. Uh, I can take you, we can go maybe uh, 20, uh, 30 minutes away from where I live uh, in the center of Paris and, and we can find one AK-47 pretty easily. I can uh, get on my uh, WhatsApp um, connect, uh, uh, WhatsApp channel and find any kind of drugs I want and they can uh, serve that drug in my house. So. Now, it seems that um, the, the, our actual Minister of Justice who, talk, um, who, who pronounced very strong words, killing them like dogs and, and the Republic uh, uh, will make them pay and so on and so forth, he knows by heart because he was, uh, he was one of the main uh, advocates for these people uh, when he was uh, before entering the government. And his name was Akitator which means the guy who was able to, to save everybody from jail. So he knows that the, the legal system in France is such to defend the rights of individual rights that it's pretty easy to take someone out of jail. And uh, by the way, the jails are overcrowded. We have uh, maybe 65,000 um, uh, facilities for, for, for uh, places for uh, inmates in France. Mm -hmm. And today we have more than 72,000 people. So uh, any judge, even with a strong will, is like an Airbnb, um, uh, you know, a manager. He has mm -hmm. no room. He doesn't know where to put the people. Yeah, Guillaume, we're having precisely the same problem in the United Kingdom, real overcrowding crisis in our prisons. But I suppose the implications of this audacious scheme to break this prisoner out, as you say, not the highest uh, linchpin of any oh. crime network, several rungs down, if they'll do that for this individual, it really does highlight how many more people could be on the verge of being broken out. Exactly. As a political advisor, uh, maybe uh, more than 15 years ago, I had to work with a prominent, uh, not only French politician, but one of the most famous, maybe Ministry of Interior 
uh, in France. His name was Charles Pasqua. He was very well known. And Charles Pasqua once told me, you know, uh, Mr. Bigot, you have in, inside your body, uh, you have bacteries, you have, uh, you have bad things inside your body, which help cleanse your, your body. So if you take medicine, if you kill everything that is bad inside your body, uh, in fact, the result will be counterproductive. That is to say, um, before we enter this uh, transparency, uh, um, completely compliant world uh, with human rights and everything is under control, everything is transparent. Mm -hmm. For that, we had something called uh, um, the, 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 the meaning of the state. And the state, every state in the UK, in France, in the United States, everywhere, the governments were able to let, let's say, a tiny little bit of organized crime, which was able to clean himself what, what was going on. It's still the case in Japan. In a country like Japan, you have um, a press conference side to side. You have the chief of the police in Tokyo and you have the chief yeah. of the mafia and they're talking yeah. together. And sometimes they say, well, the mafia, you're not doing your job properly because the crime, ri the crime rate is rising. In today, Europe, we want to play the human rights. We want to play transparency. And, and in fact, uh, you, the, the pavements to, uh, to paradise lead us directly to hell. Well, thank you very much indeed. Guillaume Bigot, live from Paris, political editor of CNews. Really interesting to get your perspective on, on, on all this. A dangerous world. It